everyone, this is Chi and welcome back to my art space. Happy New Year to all and thank you for your continued support. So the day has come for me to finally own my first set of Schmincke Horadam Aquarel watercolors. Again, this is not showing off or anything like that. I have been saving up for this for a very long time and just this past Christmas, my mother-in-law gave me some money towards buying it as her gift for me which I'm really thankful for because she also bought my first set of White Knight's watercolors. I bought this set of Schmincke 12 full pans from Jackson's Art for £68.40 which is currently still on sale as its original price is £92.82. I also checked on Amazon and they have it on there for £69.99. I initially wanted to buy it off from Amazon but when I read the reviews, some people received an academy set instead which is a student grade as opposed to the Horadam which is the artist grade. It's always worth checking out reviews on Amazon first before buying especially an expensive watercolor set from there. I never had problems with Jackson's art though and it's a specialty store so it's far safer to get your art supplies from them especially if it's on the expensive side. I am also loving the eco-friendly packaging that Jackson's art now have. I can't really express how much this unboxing means to me because um, considering I just started off with the Sakura Koi watercolors and then progressed into the White Knights watercolors and now I'm finally opening a Schmincke Horadam Aquarel watercolors and here it is. It feels so surreal and I'm, I'm so excited at the same time. It's just blowing my mind off at the moment. So I'm just taking a deep breath and looking at it like it's actually here so this particular box contains this set of watercolors with a tick on it and i am rubbish at opening boxes i always want to preserve them but it seems like i can only rip them open i am so excited for this sorry if i keep saying excited because i really am I hope that you can sense it from how I say it but I, I don't think you can because I really say it in a weird way but anyways here it is the iconic black metal box the box feels so much better already than my white knight's pastel set it's really here and I really have it I usually just watch it from other YouTubers review but now here it is. So um, here is the first look. This is a watercolor paper swatch sheet included in the box. It says create your own color chart. So I might do this later when I have a uh, free time. So it goes there for now. And here are the paints. You can um, actually lift the middle bit out of the tin, like so. The paints don't move at this point because they're still wrapped. At the back, there's a metal ring for painting outside so you can grip it comfortably. So far, it's everything I expected. No disappointments yet it's easy to put back together again you just pop it back on here put the swatch sheet on here like this and close and there you go now the unwrapping part and this is also the part where I discovered I have no idea how to put the pants properly back without them moving around I have also written the color names on the pan themselves so it's easier for me to identify what colors they are Surprisingly, even if you see the paints are glossy, it's not as sticky as the White Knight's watercolors. Schmincke Art Materials Company was founded in 1881 and they have used an OWL logo since their founding and it has undergone many changes over the years. The company motto is Meliora Cogito or I strive for the best. Joseph Horatam and Hermann Schmincke founded a company and it has passed on for four generations since then. 
I can't wait for this pandemic to be over because I actually want to go back to Germany and visit all these art supplies factories because as I remember, Rora and Klingna is also based in Germany. Here are some of the qualities of Haradam Aquarel listed on their website. One is especially selected gum arabic as binding medium. Number two is fully reusable paint when dried on a palette. And three, high control of paint flow even on soft watercolor papers. There are a couple more but I didn't include it because I think these are the main important things that needs to be highlighted as it's like special qualities. Putting the pants back on the tin, I had to ask my husband to clip them back for me. So if anyone knows how to do this properly, please comment about it. This is effective enough though as the pants now do not move even if I shake the box. So I'm happy about this. I'm just quite not sure if this is how it's meant to look like. But as I've said, even if I shake the box with the way how my husband bent the clips, although it doesn't look necessarily appealing, it is effective enough. Also, lifting the bit where the paints are reveals more mixing wells for painting outside or plein air. But because of my limited table space, it works out for me too to take it out like so. And like always, I have prepared some swatch boxes using my 100% cotton caddy paper. So let's start swatching. This one is called Permanent Carmine. It's a very vibrant already. The next one is called Cadmium Red Light. The next one is called Cadmium Yellow Light. And then Lemon Yellow. This one's Permanent Green Olive. Then Talo Green, Prussian Blue, Ultramarine Finest, Ivory Black, Sepia Brown, English Venetian Red and Yellow Ochre And now for the most important part, testing the paints by painting. As always, I have prepared a line art to save time. I can see that from swatching the colors, they are all very bright and vibrant. Yellow Ochre, Ivory Black, and English Venetian Red have 5 stars rating, which means based on Schmincke's light fastness scale, these colors are extremely light fast. Lemon Yellow on the other hand only has 3 stars rating, which is on the low scale of light fastness, but still light fast. What light fastness means is that how, how um, resistant to fading it is, so the higher the star ratings are, the more resistant to fading the paints are. The rest of the colors have 4 stars, which means they have good light fastness. Using the paints for my line art, I can say that they are very reactive to water and can easily be moved and mixed. You can also easily lift the colors. The paints in the pans are so smooth, almost like butter, and it's just so satisfying whenever you glide your brush on it. I chose to paint ginkgo leaves because of its symbolism, which is longevity and endurance. The ginkgo tree originated in China and was brought to Japan by the Chinese monks. When Hiroshima was bombed during the war, several ginkgo trees near the detonation site survived the blast. Scientists even predicted that nothing would grow on this site for 75 years, but the ginkgo trees did. One particular tree which survived the explosion stands near the center of the blast site. It has been dubbed Bearer of Hope and has prayers of peace engraved on its bark. The ginkgo tree is also used for many medicinal purposes. Ginkgo trees are dioecious. It is either a male or female. It has been suggested that if you decide to plant one, get a male tree, as apparently the female ginkgo produces a fruit like seed buds, 
which when it breaks open in autumn releases a foul smell. It's amazing how old and hardy the ginkgo trees are, and with what the world has experienced the past year, I thought this is a nice symbol to start the new year with. We are still here, we are still surviving, so like the ginkgo tree, let us all endure these trials and hope for the best in the future. With that being said, I am extremely happy with this purchase, and I cannot wait to create more paintings with it. I am also aware that this particular painting I made with the Schmincke watercolors is not my best painting ever, but I had fun doing it, especially with the meaning behind the painting. So if you ask me, is it worth upgrading to the Schmincke watercolor set? I'd say that if you are coming from a student grade 1 like the Sakura Koi or Windsor & Newton Cotman set, this is a definite upgrade. But if you have the White Knight's watercolors, I'd wait until I need to replenish a few colors before switching to Schmincke. Because to be honest, I cannot find such a big difference between the two. One set may have a color more vibrant than the other and vice versa. Still, for paintings I meant to sell, I will definitely use my Schmincke paints from now on because of the quality of its light fastness. I want to take this opportunity to thank all my subscribers, old and new, for sticking with me, especially throughout the 2020 when I was experimenting on how to present my videos because that's the year when I've decided to be more serious in creating content. And um, I'd like to tell you that I read all your comments and I take on board all your suggestions and I am very appreciative and very thankful for all the kind words and comments that you leave in my videos and I'm hoping to see you in all my future videos and hopefully I can grow my channel and help more artists out there. Here's wishing that everyone will have a better year and all the heartaches and the lost experience in 2020 would serve as an, an inspiration for us in the coming year. And here is the finished painting. I used some gel pens to add some highlights and make it more interesting. I don't always say this but I'd like to try saying it for my first video in the new year. If you haven't, please subscribe to my channel. Please like the video if you like it and leave a comment. Um, as I've said, I always read the comments and I try to respond as soon as I can. And thank you for dropping by to my channel and I hope to see you in my future videos. Again, here's a look at the set of 12 full pans of Schmincke Horodam watercolors. And that's the palette I use to mix my paints. I'm hoping that I can reuse them as they did claim on their website. You can reuse dried paint on a palette. It does look like I can re-wet it and still use it for future paintings. So again, this is the Schmincke watercolor swatch sheet that we made earlier, comparing it with my Sakura Koi watercolor set and my White Knight's pastel watercolor set, which is understandably not as transparent as the other watercolors. And here is my Windsor & Newton inks. And this is the Co Inner Analinky set, which is very bright and vibrant. And my Aurora & Klingna, which I love because of the paint transparency. And my White Knight's watercolor set side by side by with the Schmincke. And honestly, I can't find much difference between the two. I seriously think it's just down to personal preference on which one you like using on paper. And that concludes my review for the Schmincke Horadam Aquarel. I hope that you enjoyed my review and if you do, please do leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and hopefully see you all on the next one. Bye!